Hey guys, I'm uh, still working on that trans and I uh, decided to tear into the both of them uh, just to see what I got and uh, show you what I got. This one that's down here is pretty much the pieces of the one that was in the car and that one's the one that is the one that I got. I started tearing the one that I got apart just to kind of clean it out and there was a lot of crap in the oil. Uh, just because I think the speedometer cable was out of it, so that it has like a one inch hole and uh, even looks like here's the bottom of the valve, valve body that picks it up, but there's just a lot, of, a lot of shit on there, you know. So, uh, having said that, I kind of dug into it further and I also wanted to see what failed on my old transmission. And this is it. If you look at rings on the clutch. You see a, a lot of scoring happening there on those guys. Uh, the so I think that was what my failure was is the clutches were just had nothing left to them anymore and they were just kind of burning up. Plus I, as I had said they had a, a trans leak and it was leaking fluid so I think um, at some point we would just like start running out of not making any pressure and um, not being able to uh, compress the clutch pack so with that I cut into the other one just to go see what we had on this one and this clutch pack seems like I don't really see anywhere at all they all look pretty good my only thought was um, I was under the understanding that that clutch pack has a lot of pressure on it and to get them suckers to get the retaining ring off we had to uh, put it in a clamp and compress it and get it out of there but it didn't they just come out with a lot of uh, there's probably like a I don't know, 20 thou play between the say the clutch pack I'll never get all these back in while you guys are trying to watch but uh, let's just say uh, there's a little bit of play in there so I'm going to do a little bit of homework on that before I um, start putting stuff back together. But I think I'm going to just, uh, for the ease of the installation, I'm not quite sure which way I'm gonna go, but I may just go with swapping the stuff over to my other case because the case was smaller. But the one thing I did notice is this is that case that was larger. That bell housing bolted to here on it. And on the other transmission, it doesn't have this lip. All it has is this inner one where the pump sits and it uses the same bolts that the pump was held in, also held in the front of the bell housing. So I actually think I can take the um, bell housing that I have, the smaller bell housing, smaller torque converter and all those pieces and put them back together on this block if I want to use this block of the trans. So I figured I'd just do a little exploded view of uh, what's inside. I didn't really find anything else besides that uh, on the trans that was having the issue. The bands didn't look bad. I do notice that, like, say this band. Drag them. That it's more of like a cloth material I would call it whereas the bean on this one you know whether the materials just wore off no I shouldn't say that they I, I thought it was looking kind of brass but it doesn't it kind of looks like the same thing but if you notice this one kind of stays in the round shape and the other one lays flat I don't know if it's just a maybe a replacement one or if they are able to um, pull the, uh, maybe they're able to sneak that band out while it's all together and just drop the valve body. I don't know. Like I said, I never really had one of these apart before. So, uh, it's an edumacation to me. And this is just kind of the, uh, the valve body of the original one and belly pans and whatnot. And these are the two bell housings. They could probably set them next to each other. Show you the size difference. So if you look, okay. apples and 
levels here. If you look at that one, you can see the holes on the small one where they just used the center where the pump was for the bolts. And on the large one, they kind of went right around that and they went on the outer uh, holes here for uh, bolting to that trans. Um, I do notice a height difference too, but actually it should be a height difference because of, uh, now that I'm looking at it, one's got a recess on it probably and one doesn't. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's got a fatter torque converter. And over here we got these two guys. And uh, by eye, they're looking, uh, I think they look like they're the same height. But I think everything will switch over from one to another. I'll take a mic and just kind of, you know, get a caliper rather and just kind of measure all our stuff and see if uh, we're the same. But um, here's the pan of the one that was in the. In the, in the used one that I got, man, the nasty crap that was in there. And I think a lot of that was just, as I said, water and moisture they got in. I don't think I heard anything. It was at the very bottom of the uh, uh, pan where the water was just sitting. But, um, yeah, there was no components that showed any kind of rust or anything. But uh, I had to go tear into it just to make sure. I don't want to go through all this trouble for nothing. So, that's really about it. Uh, I'll let you know how I make out after I start getting the thing back together. Um, I sure have a lot of pieces left over. And uh, maybe a little bit of homework. Why? One says it has an H on the servo, and the other one says it's just uh, an A on the servo. And as far as what I knew, that H was a, a better trans. So. Well, thanks for uh, taking a peek at the mess I got, and uh, hopefully I get something back together. Thanks for watching.